They need a legitimate game plan for this team. An offensive system and a defensive desire. Now turn it to the greatest. The Run. With Lanny Wilson Podcast. The, the Run. The Lanny Wilson Podcast. Podcast. The best sports podcast best sports. there. Is. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the run with me, Manny Wilson, all the way from Detroit to Chicago to your speakers and headphones. This is the run and the best sports podcast there is. But look, man, we got a great episode for you today on August 25th, 2022. Man, the Nets, they're getting the band back together. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Yeah, just like that, man. The Nets become competitors, elite competitors in the Eastern Conference. Once again, they released a statement saying that Kevin Durant and the team have one collective goal in mind, which is to bring a title back to Brooklyn. So, of course, if you're a Nets fan, this is all you want to hear. You're so pumped right now. But the rest of the NBA, they're a little scared, all of this stuff. And I figured KD and Kyrie would stay together. But the thing here is... Some things got to change with these guys, man. They can't keep doing the same thing that they do that they did last year when they're running it back this year. I put it that way because it was a disaster last year. But the main things that need to change, obviously, one is health is health is always a key factor in any scenario. That's always going to be something. But the other thing is they need a legitimate game plan for this team, an offensive system and a defensive desire. Because this team here, they're far too talented to just be trash and unorganized. A 1v1 game between Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving is not an offensive system. That's not going to get you very far as we've seen when the Brooklyn Nets got swept by the Boston Celtics last year. You try that 1v1 crap all season and in the playoffs... That's exactly what's going to happen. You're not going to be able to get shots off. You're going to get trapped. You're going to get doubled. They're going to bring more defensive pressure. There's going to be help surrounding that player who wants to 1v1 all damn day. That's not an offensive system. So they got to figure something out with the offensive game plan. And then defensively here, we just got to face the facts, man. You lose Andre Drummond, you become light in the ass. I don't care who else is your center. You got Claxton there, and yeah, you got Ben Simmons, but they not drumming. I, I I know I've been dogging drumming a lot when he was in Detroit and all of that, but look, but look, drumming when he plays with his effort and intensity and, and is actually giving maximum effort 100% on the floor, there's not very many people that's better than him on the boards and in the paint protection when it comes to those categories because that's a huge loss losing Andre Drummond. Claxton, he's going to have to step up big, and Ben Simmons is definitely going to have to step up big in terms of the paint, and the team is just going to have to focus on on helping each other out defensively. I feel like it's a lot of offensive focus with this team and not enough defensive focus. And even the offensive focus from what we've seen last year was trash. It wasn't nothing that I watched where I'm like, damn, this offense looks very, very elite. Nah, I didn't see that from, from the Brooklyn Nets. But look, there's another thing. There's another thing here. And my point, too, is this supporting cast here, they need a distinct role for these players to play other than constantly adjusting to fill a void from one of the stars that's on the floor already here. Because what we've seen last year is these role players, they constantly had to adjust because of no KD, no Kyrie. And then when it came time to play with KD and Kyrie, no chemistry whatsoever. Specific roles build chemistry and consistency within these teams. So they have to 100% get that down pack and get a role for these guys. And I don't know if it's a, a, a Steve Nash issue. Maybe it is. Maybe it was, you know, on Steve Nash. But truth be told, there was a lot of issues going on last year that we just really couldn't see. And, and some of it was probably in the locker room. Some of it was obviously off the court and because Kyrie, personal issues, injuries, COVID, all of those things. But look, I'm just saying this team, they got to do something, man. They, they can't they can't keep playing around like this. We already gave them all of the excuses last year and, and we out of excuses now. I'm not going to say we because I'm a fan, but, you know, for the Brooklyn Nets, we can't keep giving them 
any excuses of, of why they're not succeeding in the playoffs. They have the roster. They have the team. They got a coach. Like, it's something. It's something. They got to put it together. They damn near need to go on a far playoff run. But we came too many excuses, and that's done. That's done with. But anyway, man, look. We got so much more coming for you to the run, man. Some news coming up on the Chicago Bulls is also coming up in topics as well. So stay tuned and we will be right back. Now, you know, just because you're busy doesn't mean you got to be stressed. I'm crazy busy right there with you, but it can be easier. Next time you're on a run, just make it more fun and listen to The Run with Manny Wilson. Now tuned into the greatest... The Run, the Danny Wilson Podcast. The best sports podcast there. Yes, sir. Welcome back to The Run with me, Manny Wilson. We have some news for The Run here on August 25th, 2022. So the Los Angeles Lakers, they are making moves. The Lakers will acquire guard Patrick Beverly from the Utah Jazz in exchange for Horton Tucker and Stanley Johnson. And the Brooklyn Nets, they released a statement saying Kevin Durant and the team have one collective goal in mind, which is to bring an NBA title back to Brooklyn. And the Chicago Bulls with Lonzo Ball. He may be returning from his injury sooner than later. Lonzo's camp says they are confident he will be ready to play before the 2022 and 2023 season opener. Man, so first off, that that Lakers trade is going to be dope, man. That is that's nice. That's really a nice pickup from the Los Angeles Lakers, bringing in some extra grit like Patrick Beverly. That says a lot, man. That that's going to be nice, especially keeping Russell Westbrook and and everybody else pretty much. So he's a great bench guy to come off the bench and keep that intensity high. And you know, when you play for the Staples Center, you play for the Lakers. All that previous work is going to show. If you really skilled like that, it's going to show. If you goofy like that, it's really going to show. So, yeah. so that's going to be dope. that's going to be dope for the uh, Lakers. That's a nice pickup. I think that's my highlight for the news. But anyway, man, look, the Chicago Bulls, I hate to break it to you. I, I really do. I hate to break it to you. I know y'all probably hate me for just being on y'all ass over and over, especially certain teams, because I don't give y'all a break. But the Chicago Bulls, I hate to tell you this, but they're not going to go on a deep playoff run. No time soon. Uh, I put it that way until they get a veteran presence, at least. Um, because here they have a nice team. And I, I really do like the Bulls team. I, I love the Bulls current roster. They have a great blend between uh, like seasoned players and also these really talented young guys. Um, they got the defensive dynamic duo and Lazo Ball and Alex Caruso just harassing other guards in the a, in a, in a front court and bringing the ball up court, full court pressing, half court set. Like, those guys are good defensively, so I love that. And then the young guys who are just straight hoopers, they're balling. Like, Desumo, Desumo, Desunu, you know what I'm talking about. Kobe White, he's a bucket. Um, Grant Williams, he's a bucket as well. So it's all nice. But that deep playoff run is not happening because the team really, really lacks maturity and a veteran presence. Because you got the experienced guys here. I know. I know you got some guys on here experienced. DeMar DeRozan, Tristan Thompson, Alex Caruso. Uh, Lonzo's still a little young. He ain't played enough for me to give him that experienced guys. But when you talk about experience, the playoffs. You look at the playoffs, you only really got three guys on this team who's actually made a legitimate run in the playoffs and actually did something in the playoffs. Okay, DeMar DeRozan, he went to the conference finals once and that was it. We ain't seen him since. He ain't been in the conference finals since. Tristan Thompson, okay, obviously NBA champion. We'll give him that, NBA champion. Alex Caruso, we'll give him that as well, NBA champion. Congratulations, Alex Caruso. But wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. But when did Alex Caruso win that championship now? 
He won that championship in the bubble. So that has an asterisk. And he didn't really get to play against no away crowd. He didn't get to have to be harassed by those Utah Jazz fans and those Boston Celtics fans. He didn't have to, he didn't have to go through that type of stuff um, in the playoffs. So, you know, that kind of has an asterisk to it next to it. I will give him credit, but even then. It's only three guys who's made uh, uh, some sort of playoff run or made some sort of playoff experience, and only two of them has been back in the playoffs on multiple times. Alice Caruso wasn't going back-to-back in the playoffs or anything like that. And then even when you go past that, the core is nice, again, but they just have to develop. And, and obviously, again, health is always a factor, but they got to develop. And when you get that veteran presence on top of these seasoned players and young guys, you bring in a combination for success. Because the veteran presence is going to bring the maturity. That's going to come with it on and off the court. And the further you go in the playoffs, the further um, experience these guys have. So you're going to need that. And that's why I say it's extremely important and pivotal for any team here. Because no team has ever just went to the playoffs on their first try and won it all. Or uh, had a had a had some sort of a well put together team and go immediately to the finals and win. No, every team has to lose before they can win, especially in the NBA. So, you know, but anyway, man, that's all we got for you today. I greatly appreciate you hanging with me. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at The Run Podcast and follow my personal Instagram as well at I am Manny Wilson. Um, and hey, man, we will be back. We got some guests coming up. Cannot wait. Next week will be filled with guests, so I cannot wait to touch on that. But anyway, man, we will be back next week and so on and so on and so on.